All right, here we go with part two. Turn on the mini box again. We're going to kind of start where we left off last time with the note sequencers. First of all, I'm going to hit menu event. And I'm going to initialize this, although I'm going to set this to channel two. And then initialize. Like last time, I'm going to go to the mute menu and mute everything, all the other 15 channels. And I'm going to go to menu length and set it for eight steps so we can see everything in the one left side screen. And we'll hit go. <laughs> So we got a like a base patch on this one and we're going to Make the length of this one a little shorter. Okay, now something we didn't do last time that's kind of neat is to add notes from the keyboard and we can do that by pushing on a step and then on a MIDI keyboard playing a note. I'm going to play a B, hold it down again, play an A, G, a high A, G. And if I um, hold it down for a longer time, oh, the patch isn't doing that. Um, the gate length that I hold the key down will normally will be recorded, but the patch I've got has a short envelope, so you don't hear it. Now, while that's playing, I'm going to change to track, well first I'm going to go to the mute screen, I'm going to unmute track 2, then I'm going to go to track 2, and of course while we're playing, we can do this, I'm going to go ahead and initialize it to play on track on channel 1. Okay, you can hear that playing those C's up there. Oh, and we're going to change the length of this one to 8. There we go. And we could add notes in here. Like usual. Or I can hold down buttons. And enter them from the MIDI keyboard. Now the other thing I can do besides entering single notes is that I could Hold on a button and play an accord. Each step of a note track can hold a bunch of notes. 
I believe it's like nine or ten. Now we're, now we're looking at track number two. Hit the track button to track number one. Go back to notes. There's the notes that the bass is playing. There's the notes that the chord is playing. Now you can only see one of the notes from the chord and it would be nice to see all of them and that's what there are different views for. We've been looking at the step view. If you hold down the edit button, you see the different views. There's step, trigger, layer, and 303. We're going to look, we've been looking at step, we're going to look at the layer view for a second here. And you can see one note is the F sharp of that chord, and the other two notes are a B and a D. Now if I jump back to step number one, where there's also a chord, there's a G, a D, and a B, and then the other screen that you can't see there's also an E. And I can make edits. This is for step one. It is gated. Here's the length of the gate. Here's the velocity and the various notes. And I can edit all that in here if I wanted to. If I go back to step number six, where I've also got a chord, I can change the length of that one. If I hold down the edit button, I can go back to step view and see them as notes, the single notes, velocities, and so forth. So you can put chords into a note track, but they all sit on one step and they all share the gate length and the velocity for that one step. Hold down edit, layer, and you can see everything that's in there on one step instead of seeing one type of data from all the steps. One thing we didn't look at last time is the ability to add shuffle or groove. If you hold on the menu and hit groove, you can roll this into shuffle, which is the most, the shuffle, the groove style I use all the time. And then you can turn up the intensity. And you can hear that the bass line is now shuffled. The chords aren't, but they're all on eighth notes anyway, so they're not going to move, even if I did shuffle it. There's without the shuffle on the bass line. And there's with edit to go back to the edit screen. So you can input from a MIDI keyboard notes just like you do with the encoders and you can you can input chords in the same way. And you can set up more than one track and have them sync. Then we can start doing weird stuff like change the length of the bass line to seven. My drum loop's gonna stay in four four and the chords are gonna stay with eight steps. We can go to the chords, change their length. Go back to the bass line. Back 
back to the chords. So that's a little more of the uh, note sequencer in the MIDI box. 